Hello students, welcome back to the class. Now students, in our previous lecture, we have seen some bar charts in which some information was given to us and we have given some answers related to those bar charts. Now today in this lecture, we will learn how to represent the given numerical data on a bar graph. So, as you can see, I have taken a question from your book exercise. The question says, the approximate population of India was found by census survey in different decades is as follow. So, this is the data of population of our country in different decades. Decade means at an interval of 10 years. After every 10 years, we have come across the survey about the population of our country in crores. So, like what is the information given? In 1931, the population of India was 28 crore. In 1941, it was 32 crore. In 1951, 35 crore. In 1961, 44 crores. In 1971, 54 crores. And 1981, 71 crores. Now it is said that construct a bar graph to show the above data. Okay students, so we have to prepare a bar graph for the given information. That means this numerical data is given to you. Now we have to represent in the pictorial form on a bar graph. So let us see how to prepare a bar graph for this given question. Okay students. So, students, after reading the question, let us discuss how to prepare the bar graph. So, for preparing the bar graph, very first you need this kind of bar graph which is available at the back of your school book also or you can get it easily from any stationery shop. Now, very first you have to get this bar graph and if I give you some brief information about this bar graph. So, here you can see that every bar graph is having a big cube of 1 centimeter each. So, this is a big cube and inside this big cube there are 10 divisions on both the sides that is on the vertical side and on the horizontal side. So, there are 10 divisions on vertical side and 10 divisions on horizontal side. That means in total there are 100 small cubes present in this. Okay students, now after this when you have to represent some data on this graph as we have already discussed that on the x-axis that means this horizontal line we represent some value and the second value we represent on this vertical one that is the y-axis. So very first since here in this question we have to represent the graph related to the population of India in different decades. So very first you will be drawing those two axis lines. These are called two axes. Very first is x-axis. So here I am writing it as x-axis and the second line is of y-axis. So on this vertical side I will be representing the y-axis. Okay students. So x-axis, y-axis is done. On this x-axis, we will represent the years, the years in which we have taken the survey. So, very first, this initial point is actually the zero point and after this, the first bar, just because it is a bar, so it will need a complete box from one centimeter to another centimeter. So, this first bar will be for 1931. So, we will write 1931. Then you have to leave one box. And then the next one is 1941, the next 1951, next 1961, 1971 and the last 1981. So here you can see in every alternate bar we have represented one year, right? So, these are different years given to us and since on this axis we are representing years, so you have to write years like this. Okay students, coming to the y-axis, what we are going to represent on y-axis? Yes, we will represent the population. So, here 
we are representing the population and this population is in crores so we are writing population in crores now as you know that the information given to us is in 28 crore 32 crore 35 crore 44 crore 54 crore and 71 crore out of all these population the minimum value is 28 crore and the maximum value is 71 crore so here since we have to take an equal gap so i will be taking it as a gap of 10 10 crores okay students so the very first value is 10 crore then the next line will represent 20 crores similarly third value 30 crores then 40 crore 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 crore i have taken it till 100 crore you may just complete it by 80 crore because the maximum value which we have is only 71 crores okay students now our basic graph is done now it's time to represent these bars on the graph so the first value in 1931 the population of india was 28 crores so now where will be this 28 this is our first value which is 20 and the next value is 30 so it is very clear that 28 will be somewhere between this so now as i have told you that this 1 cm box is subdivided into 10 small divisions so every division will represent one value so here you can see that it is 20 the next small division will be 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 and 28 so here is the value of 28 clear students so uh, now i have to just make this line till 28 so this is how you can draw the first bar here so that is the level of 28 crore so this is your first bar of 28 crores you can just write at the top of it 28 crores now in year 1941 the population of india was 32 crores so now you have to find the level of 32 so this is 30 and 32 will be two small divisions after 30 so this is the level of 32 now you just have to join with the bars here using a scale so this is our second bar representing the population of india in 1941 as 32 crores clear students coming to the third one 1951 and the population of india was 35 crores so where will be 35 yes this portion this is our 35 crores so this is our third bar done i hope now you have understood that how to count the divisions coming to the next one 1961 and the population was 44 crores so this is the level of 40 and the four small divisions after it so this is our four small divisions after this so this is 44 crores okay students coming to the next one that is 1971 and the population was 54 crores so 54 crores four small divisions after 50 so this is your 50 4 crores then the last 1981 and the population was 71 crore so in the year 81 1981 the population was 71 crore so this is the level of 71 and you have to join this bar students at the same time if you are finding it difficult then you can find just the level like here if i will see 
if I will merging it with the y axis, you can see it is reaching the level of 28. So, you can just make the line by using your scale in this vertical format also. So, if you will measure like this, you will get a straight line. Okay, students. So, let me complete this. In 1951, the, the population was 35 crore. Next, 44 crores. Next, 54 crore. And the last, 71 crore. Now, your bars are done. It's time to make it a little bit colorful or make it different. So, in that case, you can shade this bar by using your pencil or you can also color it by using different colors. It is better to use pencil to shade this bar so that you can easily identify or you can say we can easily read the information given in this bar chart if it is shaded. Otherwise, your bars will get mixed up with the rest of the column of the graph. Clear students? So, this is all about this graph. I hope you have understood this concept of representing the data on a bar graph. Thank you for the lesson students. Have a great day.